And the camera's already on you. Oh, for God. Hi, how are you, YouTube? <laughs> Vid me, Patreon. Hey everybody, it's Matt Jack JW. Welcome to the vlogs. We're out here in Trail Dust Town and we're getting ready to set up a shot. You see old Santee here setting up his shot for his intro. Guess what today is my birthday. It's his birthday! I know, right? And I'm hanging 16 and never been kissed. <laughs> and I'm hanging out with my buddies out here in Arizona. Um Making him film on his birthday, isn't that horrible? Aren't we horrible friends? Oh, I know, man. Like I, I just so dislike doing this so much. Oh, horrible. That's why we keep doing it, right? We like pain. Yes. There it is. Dead cat. <laughs> did anybody? Did you? Have you told your YouTubers yet? That, what about uh, Trail Dust Town has a bunch of feral cats living here. Oh, yeah. But they're feral in the sense that they're wild, right? But they, but they live here. They, they stay here. here. They've actually had them spayed and neutered, and uh, they feed them. So yeah. they're kind of like, they're still feral, but they're, uh, well, whatever you call it. They're not yeah. house cats. They're <laughs> outdoor cats now. And the cool thing about this week's episode that we're working on with uh, old Santee here has a lot to do with tobacco products. Look at that. Yeah. Big tobacco. Yeah. Hello, Chief. Yeah. Tobacco. You know, there's been a lot of, uh, at least in the uh, YouTube community, for us, the uh, smaller channels, uh, <laughs> we've, uh, I've noticed that, uh, my other friends have been doing cigar videos. Oh, yeah. 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 There's a couple of your, uh, Joe. Oh, yeah, Joe. He's a big cigar guy. Yeah. I think you are a cigar guy, Joe. Yep. And maybe, is Bob Hartman? Bob, are you a cigar guy? I don't know. How many of you guys remember. are cigar guys? Let me know. Yeah. Let yeah. somebody know who's a cigar guy. Okay, right. I'm going to film this real quick okay, so we go can ahead. get going with the normal stuff. So. Okay, go ahead. This is how he does it. Oh, wait. Maybe they're pulling it. Oh, speaking of tobacco. Yeah, so these are... What are those? Joe, you're going to hate these. These are cheapos. They're like Backwoods, which is a cheap uh, cigar. It even says like, like backwoods. backwoods. They're 1882s. They're basically what they call a cheroot, which is a... Uh, apparently it's... Uh, yeah, there you go. It's basically a beat-up old-looking Clint Eastwood cigar, so... That's a that's a cheroot. They're good. They do a good job, but they're not quality cigars like Joe and I are used to on a normal basis or Dirty Dan. All right, time to film. Hey there, folks. Saying tea at the Arizona Ghost Riders. Bail. See how quick they are? We're all done. We can go home now. Got a lot of glare, but it'll work. Because it's just a we get that sun issue. I'm sorry. A lot of glare. A lot of glare. Not glare so much. You should do it with the uh, do it in front of the Indian. I know. Or with the Indian. So he has, uh, look, he even has a bundle of cigars. Yeah, he does. Are we going to do yours in front of there, or are we doing yeah. yours right now? Kind of. Well, no, we'll do, we'll do mine over there, too. Even if you were to eat your heart out. Yeah, this is how you make the French Connection part infinity. Just a part infinity? I don't know. I know there's two of them. He stinks? Well, like a, he's got his armpit at me. Oh. Well, maybe I should make a joke about that. Yeah, let's do it. <coughs> so 
Speaking of cigars, here comes the real cowboy himself. Funny enough, when I sniff his armpit, you didn't I didn't see you do that, did okay, you? I'll try it again. We can do that. Good. His armpit doesn't really smell like that. It's just it felt like it was a little muggy. Let me see. You, John. I didn't know that they made orthopedic platforms back then. Yeah, one more time. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's what he's wearing, I mean. Just saying. He must be from the Hill Country. We could do that. Alright. We can actually do our sequence right here. You go in the telephone booth. And you turn into. You know, you ever wonder something about back in the day? I used to watch Underdog when I was a kid. And what was the first thing he did when he needed to turn into underdog? He got a pill. Oh, here comes Dan, you it's see? It's not an outhouse. It's not an outhouse. <laughs> no peeing in there. <laughs> I saw Dan run into the, I'm like, I'm getting out of here. He's an imposing figure. <laughs> well, when you see Dan just, <laughs> it's like, yeah, just run, walks, run, run. When he walks with a purpose, it's, yes. it's time to, <laughs> It's time to evacuate your bowels. I was afraid he'd be mistaken it for an outhouse and was going to relieve it. Oh, I thought, so. you were, I thought he was going to turn into like Superman or something. I was talking about Underdog. Ultraman because he's half Japanese. Super <laughs> Island Boy. Sorry. <laughs> Super Island Boy. Super Island Boy. How would he be? <laughs> um, Shuck up, bro. <laughs> I sent you the picture of the guy, right? The big kahuna, yes. Yes. Big Kahuna. So the idea is that he's going to be on set. He's going to be like this, this 